Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing some tips with you regarding password security. We want to try and make it as hard as possible for hackers to get into your accounts while at the same time not confusing yourself and making your life complicated. Follow some of the advice I share in this video and it might just save you a lot of future headaches. With that being said, let's get started. Alright, so tip number one is going to be passphrases over passwords. What I mean by that is that most people use what's called a password. So usually a few letters long, only one word in length, maybe some numbers in it. That's not very secure anymore. There are programs that hackers have that can easily get those passwords and hack your account within minutes sometimes. So what you want to do is think of a passphrase, meaning a series of words that make sense to you. So this will do two things for you. Number one, it'll be easy for you to remember because a phrase is a lot easier to remember than random numbers and letters and symbols, but it'll also be more secure than that type of password. Let me give you guys an example. Let's say your password is password. Now, instead of having that as your password, you should instead have a passphrase like this. I 100% forgot my password. That can use capital letters. It already has numbers in it, a symbol, and it's a series of words. So it is a passphrase rather than a password. And that's actually a very complicated password for a hacker software to guess. But like I said, at the same time, this is going to be easy for you to remember. So there is a website you guys can take advantage of called howsecuresmypassword.net. As you can see here, if you type in password as your password, that can instantly be cracked. You can play around with adding numbers and such, and it actually doesn't change the time very much. So what you need to do is focus on longer passwords. So here I'm typing in the passphrase, I 100% forgot my password. And as you can see, it's going to take three sextillion years for a hacker software to crack that password. So that password is super easy to remember, and at the same time is extremely secure. Alright, that's it for tip number one. We're going to go to tip number two. Okay, so my second tip for you guys is going to be checking for a keylogger. Now, for those who don't know what a keylogger is, it's pretty much a virus that tracks what you type into your keyboard. If I was able to know what you were typing into your keyboard, I could easily retrieve all of your passwords, your email addresses, and even your credit card information as you type it into these websites. Now, the best way to find out if you have a keylogger is to scan your computer with a antivirus software the one I use the most and the one that I recommend is Malwarebytes. That one is probably the best that's out there. I'll have a link to Malwarebytes um, in the description if you wanted to install that for your computer. I suggest that you always keep it up to date and you run regular scans to be sure that you don't have that type of virus or any other virus at all. So it doesn't matter how hard your password is, they're going to get it from you. So be sure to scan your computer and check to make sure you don't have this. Tip number three is storing your passwords. I really hope that you're not the type of person to have a document saved on your computer titled passwords where you literally type out all of your passwords for anybody to see. A hacker can easily get into your computer, open that up, and have full access to all of your accounts. Now, I don't recommend storing any information about your passwords, but if you must, if you think you could easily forget your passwords or you just have so many passwords that you can't remember them all what i recommend is that you can leave notes for yourself but never leave the actual password as your note only use very vague hints so that only you can understand the hint and by reading it you'll fully remember the password that you used but if anybody else read it they would have no idea what it means for those passwords I showed you earlier, here's an example of what your hints would look like if you needed to write them down. Even these are very simple passwords, so please don't use those. They're just here for an example. Okay, so tip number four is to use different passwords for each site. Now, I know a lot of people don't do this because it just makes it super complicated to remember everything. 
Now I have a solution that will help you with this and that is to think of a base password like this example here. This is the password that we mentioned earlier and you could easily remember that. So there is a whole bunch of different variations that you can do with that password. So one of them could be you include capital letters for each word. Another one could be punctuation between each word. Another one could be capitals and punctuation and you could even change some of the details around like this one here where I changed 100% to 110%. Now those are all different passwords. Those are all very hard to guess and crack. You can easily remember all of them and here's an example of what your hints would look like for those passwords. Just remember that one password is going to be your base. So it's all you got to remember is that that's your base password and just don't write it down anywhere. Just, just write your hint down as base or base password. Now, if you use for a different website, you use your base password with capital letters in the beginning, then your hint can be base with capital letters or base capital. I hope you guys can understand what I'm trying to teach here. These tips here, if anybody else looked at them, they would have no idea what your password was. But yourself, when you look at it, you go, oh yeah, I remember exactly what it is. And it's actually very good advice for having multiple different passwords amongst all of the websites you access, but still making it easy for you to remember them all. One last bonus tip for you guys is going to be check for HTTPS. I know you probably don't know what that means, but when you're on a website in the top left corner here, next to where you would type the website in, it should have a little green lock symbol and say the word secure, and the website will start with HTTPS. That means that that website and that URL is secure, and you can send information like your username and your passwords without the risk of them being intercepted and hacked into and so on. So it's a really quick, simple thing to do. Whenever you're logging into a website, just make sure that it is secure. And this also goes for using credit card information when purchasing stuff online. Always be sure to check for that. All right, I'm going to say that that's it for today's video, guys. I hope you learned something. If you have more tips that you want to share with the other viewers, go ahead and leave them in a comment. And if you guys are interested in learning more about like internet security and stuff like that, I recommend checking out this video here where I teach you what a VPN is, how you can get one, and what it does. So go ahead and check this video out here if you want to keep watching, and I will see you guys next time.